Hey guys, this is Wesley representing Classic Bodybuilding. Actually, it shouldn't be called Classic Bodybuilding, it should just be Bodybuilding. But nowadays they forgot how it's done. But together we can spread our message. Today we're doing a hamstring half workout and check out this first exercise. You're all familiar with it, but the way I like to do them is with your body as flat as possible on the bench. Some people scoop their butt up in the air in an attempt to get the weight up, but you want to target the hamstrings alone and not the glutes. I need to bring my hamstrings up, as one of many, I didn't train legs when I first started, and when I did start training them, I didn't train them seriously. So ever since my first competition where I could really see that my legs were lacking, I have been hammering them ever so hard to get them where they need to be. Hamstrings are lacking, so that's what we will focus on today. Our aim right is to pump up the hamstrings as much as we can, so we're going to do a multitude of exercises to get the entire hamstrings full. And this isolation exercise is great to squeeze the hamstrings at the top and focus on the contraction. You should handle your hamstrings like you do your biceps. They need volume and heavy contraction in order to really address the entire hamstrings. Another great one, I like to put my legs close together on this one, targeting the hamstrings from a slightly different angle compared to the first exercise. Make sure you hit the full range of motion on this one as well. The longer the time under tension is, the more time there is for your muscles to get filled with blood and that's exactly what we want. We use the principle of first filling up the muscles with as much blood as you can, pump it up basically, and then stretch all those muscles fi muscle fibers with a controlled exercise. The stiff legged deadlift with either a barbell or dumbbells is a great one. Here I like to do 12 reps, of which 6 are under the knee, and 6 are the entire range of motion. Basically the first 6 reps are meant to focus purely on the stretch and make sure you get the most out of this exercise. The reason I do them stationary is because at the bottom of the movement, the hamstrings are more involved. Now you can really focus on going deep with your leg and sure, this exercise works the quads as well, but because your hamstrings are hammered already, you will definitely notice that they will give out before your quads will. Great one, you can either focus on your lower back or on your hamstrings. Don't go up too far because then your lower back is involved too much, but make sure to contract your glutes and hamstrings at the top for a maximum involvement of the hamstrings. Going down deep enough is important because your main objective is still to feel that maximum stretch. But guys, this one's for us as well. It is an adductor motion, which basically means the inner leg muscles are getting worked. If you're looking to obtain some massive legs or just make them appear bigger, make sure that the gap in between your legs is filled up by the adductor muscles. This exercise targets those specifically, and I want to improve on those also, so I like throwing it in. But make sure you do these heavy, and again, feel the stretch, because the better the stretch, the better the contraction, guys. You'll find it difficult to make these grow. Sure, your genes are involved heavily, but that doesn't mean you can neglect these exercises and just give up on them. The most important thing here is the stretch. You barely stretch your calves when you walk around normally, but you do contract them to lift up your body as you're walking, so they're used to a lot. So, use a heavy weight, go all the way to the bottom, but also come all the way up. 
So, if you can't do this, a heavy weight for you might not even be 100 pounds. But that's fine, because you got to do this exercise right before going any heavier. Or you get the volume in by, for example, doing some 21s. Just fill them up with blood and tell your body, I want to make these muscles grow. I'm giving you the tools here, now make it work. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, a lot more to come, and remember to stay golden guys.